Hey guys, Matthias Allred here. Hey, today we're going to be talking about creating a Facebook fan page for each of your listings. Really killer strategy. It's a great way to get other people involved and help get maximum exposure to your listings. So let's take a look at our presentation right here. Okay, I'm Matthias Allred. Let's jump into it. Okay, first question is what market do we live in? Are we in a buyer's market or a seller's market? Pretty dumb question. If you know what's been going on in real estate, 100% we're in a buyer's market right now. Okay. And there's many, many houses for sale right there. There's more houses on the market than there has been in the last several years, and houses are sitting on the, lar on the market a lot longer than they have traditionally in the past. Okay, 100% bona fide buyer's market. Okay, we're all competing for the same buyers on all of our listings. We all have the same MLS access. Let's face it, we all have the same yard signs. We have the same flyers. Really, guys, agents out there all have the same selling strategies. My question to you is how are you different or what are you doing that is different than what every other agent out there is doing? Okay. In addition to competing with other agents and other homes for sale, we're also competing with huge amount of short sales. We've got desperate sellers out there. We're competing against all these foreclosures and bank owns. Okay. How do you stand out different or how does your property stand out different than everything else, uh, all of the competition that's out there? Okay, great questions. I want you to think about that. Okay, to sell a home in today's market, you need to get maximum exposure for your listings. Okay, you can no longer just throw it up on the MLS or you stick a yard sign out there uh, and expect to sell the house. You need to get maximum exposure. You need to use more than your traditional outlets for selling your property. Again, more than just the yard signs, more than just the MLS. You need to reach more people, be in more places really need to think outside the box and think outside of the traditional ways of marketing a property for sale and you need to use the tools that we already have available in fact the tool I'm going to share with you today is a tool you probably use every single day just haven't seen a way that you can use it to help sell your properties okay and a big deal big effort that you make in selling your property is connecting with people you need to connect to more people than you would through the traditional methods that we've talked about Okay, what we're going to be talking about today is our Facebook fan pages, and it's really just another great arrow for the quiver. I'm not going to claim that this is the end-all, be-all, great secret sauce This is going to make you a million dollars this year. It's another arrow that you need to have in your quiver as you go out and market your property for sale and as you get these listings. Okay, you need to increase your reach and your influence on other people. Tap into other people's database, which is a huge plus and a huge benefit. Okay, you're reaching thousands of more people by tapping into other people's databases than you would on your own. Okay, and you need to connect in a personal, real way. That's what people want nowadays. They want to connect in a personal way. Uh, they don't want to have fake around. There's no way that people see right through the fakeness. You have to connect in a real personal way. Okay, again, we want to talk about the power of Facebook. And this is just an overview. Many of you guys already know this. This is a study that came out a while back, and it's probably going to be updated here soon. But uh, the power of Facebook. If Facebook was a country, it would be the third largest country in the world. Okay, It's definitely larger than the United States right now, uh, approaching India. Uh, currently, it says 400,000, but this is a study that was done a while ago. Uh, right below this, Facebook may reach 1 billion users by 2012. Okay, the whole population of India is 1.1 billion. Okay, China's 1.3 billion. Honestly, guys, if Facebook keeps up the way that it's going, it's going to be the number one. If Facebook were a country, it would be the largest country in the entire world, I bet, by 2013. Guys, it's just huge. So many people on Facebook. I hope you grasp that. Okay, Facebook has about 30,000 servers powering the social network site. 30,000 servers just to handle what's going on on a daily basis on Facebook. Okay, and the real question is, does anybody not have a Facebook account anymore? Okay, I don't know if I 100% agree with this, but I've got a nine-year-old niece that has a Facebook account. And I think she's got very limited access. She can only connect to certain people. Her mom uh, monitors that very carefully. But nine years old, she has a Facebook account. Okay, Everybody knows how to Facebook. I came home. Uh, we were messing around at the house one time. My, my boy was doing a little dance and you know kind of acting goofy he's eight years old and he was just acting goofy and I pulled out the camera you know and he starts doing this little goofy dance whatever and then he stops all of a sudden he looks at me and he says you're not gonna post this on Facebook are you okay eight years old he knows about Facebook guys I'm telling you this is big I don't need to beat a dead horse okay everybody wants to connect this is a funny cartoon uh, this crazy lady right here saying I'm trying to add more friends 
while she's got all of her friends out here in the doorway trying to get in and talk to her. Okay, kind of humorous on social media. Uh, some people think that social media and Facebook is really getting away from the personal touch of actually communicating with people face to face. Uh, I'm not going to argue against that. I think it does. But the point is, is that everybody's on Facebook. Everybody's trying to find more friends. People want to connect uh, to Facebook. Okay, so let's jump into the benefits of Web 2.0 and social media. Just as an overview and a highlight, and then we'll jump into the meat and potatoes. Okay, Web 2.0 and social media, it's easy to share. It's easy to like or communicate. Uh, if you're on Facebook or any blog that is Web 2.0 uh, based, uh, you can click on a button and say, share this with a friend. You find a funny video, two clicks, and you can post that on your account and share it with all of your friends. Okay, super easy to share. That's why it's so beneficial. Uh, easy to communicate. Okay, really killer uh, compared to your standard websites. Okay, a website's just got information on there. But if you've got a blog and you make a great uh, post on here or you show a funny video, people can get on there and they can repost or recomment on that. You can actually have a communication via your blog and the same with uh, Facebook. Communication right here. Very, very easy to do. Easy to stay in touch, update multiple people with one post. Okay, how easy is it to jump on Facebook and say, I love the springtime, the weather is so beautiful right now, and boom, 100 people, 200, 300 people see that post when they log in. Okay, you get to update multiple people at one time, and again, great interaction. So, uh, I don't need to beat a dead horse. You guys understand the power of social media and the power of Web 2.0, the power of Facebook, and really tapping into other people's database. That's what this program or idea is all about. Okay, so here's the overview. Okay. I'm going to run through the overview, then we're going to go into detail on each one. Okay, number one, you need to get the sellers on board and involved. Okay, number two, you need to build a Facebook fan page. Three, post your marketing tools on the fan page. And these marketing tools, again, are your single property websites, virtual tours, pictures, panoramic tours, videos, uh, stuff like that. Okay, overview continued. Number four, get the sellers to like your fan page, and then get them to get their friends to like the fan page as well. And we're going to talk about what that does when they get their friends to like the fan page as well. Okay, step number five is that we ask personalized questions to the sellers and have them post their answers on Facebook. Okay, and when the seller answers, remember it shows up not only on their wall, but any of their friends that like that is just going to show up on their friend's wall as well. And all of the friends of the friends get to see what's going on here. You can see how that starts to get big really, really quick. Okay. And then uh, six, these questions, remember, are designed to make this house a home. These are personalized questions, uh, not personal questions, mind you, personalized about the home, about the neighborhood, about the community to help uh, bring more life to this home and set it aside from the other listings that are out there. Okay, program goals. We want to tap into the seller's database and into their friends. We want to get maximum exposure for our listings. And we want to show our creativity, outside the box thinking, uh, this is going to help get more listings for you in the future. And if somebody's coming across this, remember we're reaching to hundreds if not thousands of people uh, and they've got a house that they're considering for sale. When they somebody that, see somebody that thinks out of the box or has this type of creativity, I guarantee it's going to help you get more listings or at least get people inquiring about what you're doing. Okay, It gets personal exposure for you as a real estate agent to more people because again on the Facebook fan page, it's going to have all of your information there. So, you know, John Brown Real Estate, here's my contact information and everything. Uh, we're going to get a lot of exposure for you as a real estate agent. And then, of course, as a goal, we want to have this as one more tool that helps us get the house sold. That's our objective with our listings. Pick up buyers, get the house sold, make happy clients, okay? So, uh, let's go back into the, the nuts and bolts. We went over the overview. Uh, here is step number one, the sellers, okay? Remember... We need to get the sellers involved. And remember that people buy houses. We need people in this transaction. The internet doesn't buy houses. Your website doesn't buy houses. Facebook doesn't buy houses. As a side note, Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, hasn't even bought a house yet. Um, okay, remember, we need people involved right here. So step number one is going to be talk to your sellers. Okay, let them know. Say, hey, we do a lot of creative marketing. We do a lot of online marketing and show them this uh, presentation and say, this is what we're going to do. We need your participation involvement. Okay, let me uh, go back here and we'll talk about this. Uh, this program does not work for uh, foreclosed properties, short sales, 
uh, bank owned properties if you're doing REO stuff this probably isn't going to work for that um, we need people that have good attitudes that are in a position to talk positively about their house and their neighborhood okay and the key is getting the sellers involved because remember it's their database that we want to be tapping into and it's reaching out to the people that they know and that their friends know to help get you the maximum exposure that we're looking for okay step number two is create a fan page Guys, this is very easy on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com forward slash pages and click on the create a page button right there. It'll ask you to go through a couple of steps. In fact, I'll probably put a video together showing you how to do this. But it'll ask you what type of business you have. You can pick one. Uh, name the fan page the name of your property address. You know, 123 Main Street, Saratoga Springs. Um, let's go back. When you set up the fan page, you can upload pictures as a, a main picture right there. It'll give you kind of the steps, one, two, three, four, on what you do to get started. Okay, so very easy to do. Um, this section is about, oh, on the info section right here. Okay, uh, the fan pages work very similar to your personal page. So you've got the getting started. It'll take you kind of a step-by-step -step on how you get started, filling out information, updating information. The wall is, you know, your, your regular wall on Facebook that's going to show all the posts and the comments and everything like that. And then this info tab, this section is all about the house, but it's also about you as a real estate agent and about the services you offer. So in this section, you want to put links to your blogs, to your websites, to your uh, home buyer university if you're doing that, um, information maybe to your other listings or other fan pages. Okay, great section to just get information about you on there. Okay, so if you have any questions about setting up the fan, page, uh, fan pages, get in touch with me. I'm happy to walk you through step by step. We can do a... Um, what do you call it, a go-to meeting or a dim dim meeting where I can actually log into your computer screen and help you walk through that so we can do it together, okay? Very easy to do. Once you do it once, you've got it nailed down. Not a problem at all. Okay, step number three is to start post posting your uh, marketing materials. Okay, so this is where we're going to post our photos, links, videos, and everything like that. Uh, we've got some killer tools that we use for our online marketing and our social media marketing that if you're not taking advantage of, I highly recommend that you do. Get with us, and we'll go over each one of these tools and the benefits and show you how this can be a huge benefit to you. But uh, single property websites, you've got to be on the web. Okay, virtual tours, pictures, documents. If you've got an appraisal, a recent appraisal, or a property inspection, you got some zoning documents or anything that you want to upload on there. These are all things that can be posted on the fan page so that people can view those. Okay, panoramic tours. If you've got a property that's got some killer views of the valley or of the mountains or anything like that, panoramic tours are really awesome. And then videos. Guys, video is huge. Uh, you'll notice, um, gosh, let me, I might open up my, uh, well, you'll notice if you go down your wall on your Facebook fan page, you'll see post and post and post. But if you see a video on there, like a YouTube video, so easy just to click on it and watch it. Okay, and I, honestly, from me, if I'm scouring through what's happened and somebody posts a video, I'm a hundred times more likely to click on the video and watch it than I am to click on an article link and read that or uh, anything else, guys. Video rocks. Video kills. Uh, people watch it. People are more than happy to click on that. So video, video, video. I say post a ton of videos on here. Uh, some examples of videos. Uh, that I've seen people do. If you've got a house that's really close to the freeway, okay, you know, say that's one of the selling features is it's in a quiet neighborhood but it's close to the freeway. I've seen people grab their video camera, their little flip phone or whatever. You can even do it on your smartphone, your iPhone or Android or whatever. Uh, grab your camera and say, look, I'm at uh, Jones Listing right here, 123 Main Street. Uh, let's see how long it takes us to get to the freeway. Jump in your car, turn the camera around, and cruise to the freeway. If you're three or four minutes from the freeway, guys, killer video it shows real time you know maybe you get a stopwatch and you uh, you know say hey we're gonna hit this stop uh, watch let's cruise to the freeway show you how fast you can be on the freeway uh, cut out and say hey, look it took us four minutes to get here okay that way you can do that in about 30 seconds but a killer video people watch it's a great selling feature right so tons of ideas another great idea about video that we have is if you're uh, living in a neighborhood that's got a fun park right down the street you know you might want to walk out the front door and say hey check out the park right here tons of kids play at the park you know in the summer times they'll have soccer games and baseball games here uh... It, i mean anything that you guys can do to showcase the neighborhood video is the way to do it because people watch those okay uh... step number four you've got to get your sellers to like the fan page okay so you set up the fan page you plug some information in here get them to click on the like button 
Okay, what this is going to do now is any time that you make a post on this fan page, it's going to show up on their wall. Okay, and who gets to see their wall? Well, all of their friends get to see what shows up on their wall. Okay, so the key is you've got to have them like the fan page. And then next step is to get them to get their friends to like the fan page. Okay, now when their friend when you make a post, the post is going to show up on anybody that likes this page. Okay, so if the sellers like it and then they get their friends to like it, your post is now showing up on your their friends page so that all of their friends can see them as well. Okay, so you like it, get the sellers to like it, have them forward it to their friends and have their friends like it. Now here's something else. You can even send it to your clients who are looking for homes and say, hey, check out what this new listing that I just picked up. Go ahead and hit the like button if you know anybody else that's looking for a home. Have them like it as well. Okay, or you can send it out to your past clients and friends. You know, they have friends that are looking for homes. So it's just a great way to reach out to your database, show your creativity, show that you're making some efforts online. And guys, this is super easy. Okay, they hit the like button and it's done. So the idea is you get them to like it. The more people that like it, the more your posts are going to start showing up on other people's walls. And that's what we're looking for. This is the secret and the power on how to tap into their database. Okay? Step number five is that we ask personalized questions about the home. And the idea is that we're going to turn this house into a home and make it more personal. Okay, It's not just a house on the listing. This is a home for families or uh, a home that makes it just real personal. Okay, The key is to get interaction on our posts. So these questions that we ask are designed to uh, be intriguing enough or to invoke a response is what we're looking for. Okay, You just don't want to make a post that says, this is a great house, you should look at it. Right? You're going to ask personalized questions, and I've got a whole list of questions in later that we'll go through. Uh, and by the way, if you guys have any other questions or any other uh, ideas that you think are great, you're welcome to post these on our fan page as well. Uh, we'll get that information later. But again, the key is to get interaction and get people involved. So you ask intriguing questions like, what was your favorite memory in this house growing up? Or why did you buy this house in the first place? You know, What made you fall in love with this house when you guys bought it? So uh, interaction, you ask questions that they get them to respond and hopefully get their friends to response as, uh, respond as well. Because again, when their friends make a comment on there, boom, it's going to show up on their page and broadcast that out to their friends as well. So you can just see how this multiplies and, and really gets large. Okay, Encourage people to make posts and interact. Reach to people you've never contacted with. Make a post on this every single day until you get that house sold. Okay, So again, when you're making a post, this is just a screenshot that I pulled on here. Uh, University of Fairbanks, you have 30 other people that liked this comment, okay? And so when this person right here makes a comment, guess who gets notified? All 30 people. It shows up on their uh, little button up here that says you've got a, a alert, I guess is what they're called. Okay, so all of these people that make comments, their information, their posts, their comments is showing up to not just themselves and not just University of Alaska Fairbanks, but it's showing up on all 30, you know, five people's pages themselves and they get in a little alert that says hey you have a comment right it's going to draw them back there to take a look at it again so wow uh, I love this concept because you're going to reach so many people and again if you're making these posts every single day and you're getting the interaction of people to make these posts you're just reaching tons and tons of people that you otherwise wouldn't okay here's the 300 friend rule on average everybody on Facebook has between 250 and 500 friends uh, we say approximately 300 because that's a very conservative, a very safe number right there. Can you imagine how many people you reach if you get those people involved and get them to interact with your fan page? We're talking about thousands of people and definitely thousands more than you would reach if you simply put up a yard sign and post it on the MLS. Okay, You're making a very personal touch and a very personalized home presentation to friends of friends of friends. And you can see 300 times 300, that's a lot of numbers right there. So uh, really killer strategy. I just love this. I think that it's great. So uh, here's some sample questions to ask. Uh, and again, if you guys have other questions that you think are great, uh, use them definitely. But also let us know so that we can share with everybody else. Okay? Uh, why did you purchase this home instead of the other homes that you were looking at? What about this home appealed to you the most when you guys bought it? Okay, what's your favorite feature of this home? What made you fall in love with this home? Why is this a great home for families, if it's in a family neighborhood? Uh, tell us about the neighborhood. What is the neighborhood like? What amenities are close? Um, what is your favorite memory at this home? Tell me about the 
the backyard or the family room or the kitchen or the you know entertaining open space etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, who is the ideal family to purchase this home you know if you've got a home that's uh, got tons of kids in the neighborhood probably not ideal for that 65 year old retired couple you know what I mean uh, or if you've got a home that's a retirement community type thing with a lot of old people there you don't want to plug this to your young families as much because it's not ideal for them so but the key is is that you as an agent aren't answering all of these questions you're just asking the questions and the answers come from the sellers okay it's their memories it's their home it's their features you're the one that's not out selling this to everybody saying you should buy this home because I said so because I'm the coolest agent ever and I've got all the right answers and this is why you should buy uh, you can sell this home by saying this is a great home and look what other people are saying about this you know that third party endorsement is just awesome so and ask them ask the sellers why are you selling this home okay get that you know some people uh, make sure it's a good reason they're buying the home, right? If they're going to reply and say, well, the nuclear power plant is going in in the backyard, um, bad idea, right? A big uh, Walmart is going in right next door, and I don't want to live next to Walmart parking lot. Okay, that's not going to sell your home, but if you've got a compelling reason, you know, our kids went off to college, and we're going to downsize, and blah, 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 you know, great questions right here. So, again, if you have any other questions, go ahead and post those on our fan page, uh, facebook.com slash Agents and we'll make sure that other people get um, access to this. By the way, uh, I should put on here, I need to mend this slide, go to facebook.com slash Utah Agents and hit the like button for us. Go ahead and join our group right there. We try and post some good comments, good posts, uh, good ideas to help you with your business. Uh, it's not a pitch fest at all right there. We're giving away free cool stuff all the time and I just want to make sure that you guys are taken care of. So again, if you guys have questions, go ahead and visit us there and post those questions for us. And <laughs> Definitely go there and like that. Okay, uh, that about wraps everything up. I'm, uh, again, Matthias Allred, your local mortgage specialist. Definitely here to help. Uh, our objective is the same as yours. We want to help you guys become successful in your business by helping you pr uh, provide you with the tools, resources, technology, strategies to help you guys sell your home. There's a lot more in today's market than just putting a yard sign out there, and we've got some really amazing tools to help you guys excel and exceed at this time. So definitely reach out to us. Let us know how we can help. And want to thank you for taking about 20 minutes, 25 minutes on this class. Hope that really helps. Let us know how it works for you, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.